Hello crypto fam, thanks for tuning back to my channel. In today's video we will discuss quite an intriguing crypto scam that had been going around for a while now. Usually the scammer will DM you on Twitter with an innocent message like this. Now this is one of the many messages that I have got on Twitter. As you can see on my screen, it says, Hi, I am a student. I have received a sum of 6800 USDT. It says TRX20. That means it's on Tron blockchain. If it's on Ethereum, it will be usually ERC20. Okay, let's move forward. But I don't know how to sell USDT to get USD into my bank account. Can you teach me how to use my trust wallet? I'll pay 300 USDT as a reward. Now they are also sharing their 12 words mnemonic phrase. And you can also see they have given us the private key as well. So you can actually create this private key from the mnemonics itself. And that's what you are usually required to remember in most cases to safeguard your wallet. Now, as you know, if you share your private key, anybody can access your funds. Now the question that arises is if we can access this wallet funds, how exactly does the scam happens? And we'll exactly find that out in today's video. So let's get started. Now I'll be downloading Tron link extension so that we can view this wallet and see which all tokens are available in this wallet. So I have downloaded it. Let me open it up and we are going to import this wallet since we already have mnemonic which is given to us by the scammers. Okay, I agree. Let's copy this mnemonic. I'm going to paste it. Next. Okay, let's say scam import mnemonic phrase. Okay. I must say this UI sucks. Okay, confirm. Got it. Okay, let me try to see if we can make it full screen. Okay, not sure. Let's use it like this. Okay, as you can see, there is TRX token which is only 0 0.086, and you'll be required to pay this as a gas fees on Tron blockchain. We have around 1400 USDT dollars, which was actually mentioned in the message. Uh, they were around 6800 USDT. Okay, right now it's 1400 USDT. And this is what we are required to actually rescue and give it back to that innocent student. What else we have got here? Oh, we have got some love tokens as well. Okay, quite intriguing. Okay, there are a bunch of other tokens which we don't care about right now. Okay, let's move our focus back to how we can withdraw this USDT. So how exactly this scam happens is that as you can see, TRX is very less in this wallet. To pay gas fees for any transaction, you will need more TRX token. So if you want to withdraw this USDT, you will be required to transfer some TRX tokens as gas fees. And as soon as you try to transfer some TRX into this wallet, the scammer has set up a bot and that bot is going to automatically swipe this TRX tokens out of this into the scammer's wallet. Now, let me show you all these transactions on Block Explorer so that you can understand it in more detail. Okay, as you can see, this is scammer's wallet. So if you see if there is anything transferred inside this wallet, 10 TRX tokens were transfers, it gets transferred out quickly to this wallet. This is scammer's wallet, which is highlighted in red, you can see. So you can see as soon as there is any transaction that is happening and putting more TRX tokens inside this wallet, scammer is actually swiping it out to its wallet. Now one valid question that you may have in your mind would be, what if if we pay more gas fees and we can also set up a bot like a scammer and we can actually swipe these tokens out from this wallet to ourselves? It's a good question, but the scammer has thought about it already, obviously. And there is something that you can do on Tron blockchain is that you can actually set the owner permissions. That means you can transfer the ownership of this wallet to another wallet. You can see this is exactly scammer's wallet address where all the TRX tokens are getting transferred to and that wallet actually holds ownership of this wallet which means this wallet cannot sign any transactions anymore and also if you try to transfer out any token let's say I'm trying to transfer up Tether you can see this is a multi-sig wallet and so whenever you try to transfer USDT out you can see the request will need to be approved by these wallets and that's how all this scam happens. So that's what this whole scam is in nutshell, folks. You try to transfer some gas fees to this wallet in order to rescue the USDT. And you actually end up getting scammed one of that tokens which you try to pay as the gas fees. 
So that is it for this video, folks. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope this gave you some insight and I hope you are going to avoid all these kind of messages from next time and you should always stay vigilant of any unwanted anonymous messages, mostly. So if you did like this video, please give a like to this video, subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.